All right, guys. Another episode of In Touch with TLR. I'm Kevin Gain. This is my boy, Frank Root. And we're going to do what today, Frank? We're going to build a ball bit for two-wheel drive buggy. There's a lot of parts in there, man. Is it pretty easy to do? Yeah, building a ball diff really isn't that hard. We're going to show you the quickest, easiest, and uh, most air-free way to build a ball diff. You'll be all set. After I'm a little nervous, but I think with my man Frank here, he's going to help us all out. Make sure you watch the video. Preparation is everything. winning and losing all right Frank we're here so where are we starting with this thing all right well we're gonna build a diff today the first thing I did was I grabbed my toolbox a, a rag uh, and grab the tools that I need to properly build the diff out I got some pliers a two mil wrench uh, a exacto blade my diff lube silicone diff lube my TLR high pressure black grease the ball diff and the package and then I have my power driver out I'm gonna use that for a little break in at the end but not required Thing here we're gonna grab our complete ball diff kit so it's TLR 232000 is a complete ball diff kit of course you might just have the, the kit from your car I'm gonna use the hobby knife and open the packaging get rid of that so I have my diff balls here I have my thrust balls I'm gonna leave both those in the bag for now I have my TLR uh, black grease and clear grease so I already have these up here and open packages so I'll just set those off to the side uh, I have my uh, bearings rings out drives and then the rest of the parts here and the instructions i don't need i remember how to do this so uh i'm just going to open the out drives get those out i'm going to open this other bag with a diff gear spring screw and get that on the table there and then i'm going to open the bearings also uh, go ahead and open those put those on the table and again i'm using a microfiber towel so it keeps the parts, makes them nice and easy to see, and you don't really get lint from a microfiber tile, which is the best reason to use it. And then I'm gonna open the rings also. So these are packaged with some silicone diff grease on them to protect them and keep them from rusting. So I just put them on top of the bag there. And then the first thing I do is I take the out drives and I just wipe them off. They come with some oil from the post machining process just to protect them and keep them from rusting. So on that surface where the diff ring sits, I just clean them off like so. And then I do the same thing with the uh, main diff rings here. So I'll take one diff ring. I basically take the towel and I kind of pinch it and then I roll it through, maybe wipe my fingers off, make sure it's nice and clean. And then you get a nice clean surface like that. So I'll do both of those. All right, so now first things first, we're gonna go ahead and take the clear diff lube here, and we're gonna put a ring of it around the out drive, like so. Now, you can't really put too much, so be liberal with it. Then you take your diff ring and kind of push it on, make sure it centers, spin it a little bit. You get this extra lube kind of around the edge. I just take my finger Wipe that extra lube and then I kind of wipe it here on the ring where it's going to be more useful. So there's one out drive and we'll do the same thing with the other one. So again, put the diff lube and I just use this syringe because it makes it a lot easier to get this thick diff lube moving. You don't have to squeeze so hard. Put the other ring on, push it down, spin it, grab the extra lube, wipe it on the ring. There we go. All right, so now we have our out drives with the rings on them. I'm going to go ahead and take the first bearing here and place it over the male out drive. Just slide it down and then grab the diff gear. And it doesn't matter. There's no direction to it, so you can go either way. Go ahead and slide that over the bearing and I'll kind of press down a little bit. And then I take the second bearing and I put it also over that uh, male part of the out drive there. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and take my diff grease and I'm going to basically fill the hole that the diff ball is going to fit into with diff grease all the way around the diff gear. Okay. Now I, ha I still have my, uh, oh, my sealed bag here of diff balls. So I'm going to go ahead and open that with a hobby knife, keep the balls in there. And I'm going to hold the diff gear and I'm basically going to pour the balls out of the bag 
into the diff gear. You just want to be careful because obviously you don't want to drop any. They're balls, so they'll just roll away from you. You know, just take your finger and just kind of work them around and, and get them into each of the holes. Just takes a second to do that, but. I like to use my finger and not a tool just because I know my finger is not going to scratch a ball or anything. Uh, so I got them all in there. And I just take a little bit more lube and kind of go around on top of the balls. You can't really use too much lube because if you have any extra, it'll always just push it out of the part. So this is one place where you got to pay attention. So you have your female half and you have your male half. Uh, and what you need to do or what I always do is I keep my female half down and I put my male half over it and I put my male half up. The reason that I do that is because the next thing I'm gonna do is the diff spring and the nut, and they go in the male half, and you don't wanna get it mixed up. So you take your spring, a little black spring is the new version, put it in the pliers, and you just compress it all the way, all the way down. I usually uh, spin it 180 degrees, and then do it again, just to make sure it's fully compressed in both directions. And I take that spring, and just go ahead and slide it in that out drive that was up you have your diff nut go ahead and slide that in too and sometimes it'll have a little bit of a, a tight fit so just use my blade the back of the blade there and pushed it down now I can flip it over and the next thing to do is to build the thrust assembly so I'm gonna take my thrust uh, diff screw here I'm gonna slide one of the washers over the diff screw I'm gonna grab my black grease my TLR high pressure black grease and go ahead and put a good ring of this all the way around that washer. So a nice thick amount there. I don't want to put too little. Can't really put too much. Same thing. It'll just spit out all the excess. And I'm going to take my thrust balls. I'm going to do the same thing where I cut the bag, leave the balls in the bag. Now I'm going to pour the balls, the thrust balls, into the palm of my hand. There's a good reason for doing this. I'll show you in just a second. So now, see how the balls just kind of naturally settle into the crease of your hand? Like if you just kind of squeeze your hand, it'll just fall into that crease. So you can get them all in a row. And you just put your thrust washer down there and just roll it. And you'll pick up all the balls. Easy peasy. Now you take the second thrust washer, scoot it down. Now this, you, when you squeeze it together, you just want to make sure none of the balls squeeze out. So I usually... We'll kind of get it close and then I'll go push all the balls towards the center get some black grease on the outside of them and I'll push it down again and just make sure that they're still solidly in between the rings there then I'll take my uh, my two mil driver and I you have your dust cover here so I put my dust cover over the two mil driver then you put the screw in the two mil driver and then right into that female out drive half the one that doesn't have the uh, the spring and the nut in it and just slide it in and then start to turn sometimes you have to push the nut down while you while you start to turn just to get it started now there it started so I can just hold the other out drive and I just turn get the nut down a bit but now I have now I have diff function now the diff is rotating the opposite direction top and bottom and once I get there that's when I stop tightening it I don't tighten it all the way down when I build it well, there you have it. Thanks, Frank. We appreciate that. Um, it was much easier than I expected it to be. Um, I hope that helps you viewers out there. Uh, some pro tips from Frank Root. Uh, we're going to have a diff break-in video coming out shortly with Frank Root as well. Um, it's nice to hear from the pros and uh, see how they do things and, uh, and make things a little bit easier on us. So, appreciate it, Frank. Thank you very much, man. Of course. Thanks for watching.